the great majority of basal cell carcinomas have a mutation which predicts um, activity of a pathway that's blocked by a couple of drugs that are now been approved. These drugs are called smooth inhibitors, uh, and the first of those drugs is called dismodogen. Uh, and typically we give a smooth inhibitor for patients. They typically work, um, and by work I mean tumors shrink uh, and there's control of disease. Um, they're relatively well tolerated. Uh, however, they often don't work for forever. So then we get into the scenario of trying to understand what's the next line of therapy with basal cell carcinoma. And, and quite honestly, there's, there's no amazing data that suggests we should be doing this therapy or that therapy or that therapy after the failure of those therapies. Um, what we typically think about more and more is using immunotherapy. We don't have large sets of data with basal cell carcinoma, but what we do know is that basal cell carcinoma is obviously a skin cancer. Its genesis is through UV damage and mutational events in the skin, particularly uh, in the basal layer of skin, uh, or basal cells of the skin, uh, and that through those mutational events, there's probably a high mutation burden, uh, and that would predict that there might be a response to antibody. And so what we tend to think about is strategies to try and get patients to those types of drugs. Ideally, we do that through 